Hi, I'm Amy Larish, a product manager here at MicroStrategy. Welcome to session two for dossier authoring, focused on modern and flexible design. If you missed the first session on creating infographic style dossiers, be sure to check it out later on our website. Before we jump into the exciting updates for this year, let's take a step back and look at what we did in MicroStrategy 2020. We spent a lot of time really focused on the canvas and took a big step forward with freeform layout, compound grid, attribute metric selector, dossier to dossier linking, And more. This year, we have a really big focus on simplicity and smoothing out the entire authoring experience, which includes the time that users spend in the dataset panel, the format panel, and the visualization gallery. Simplicity to us means it is fast and intuitive to build visualizations and design dossiers so you can focus on what matters data discovery and driving business goals. Looking at this beautiful dossier, you might be wondering how long it took to build and if it required expert level skills. Well, I'm going to take you behind the curtain and show you just how easy it is to create. And soon you'll be impressing your coworkers and your network. It is easier than ever to create meaningful visualizations. You can now find several common visualizations available with one click from the visualization gallery. This means you can spend more time focused on data discovery and storytelling and less time dealing with the drop zones in the editor panel. When a user adds a visualization for the first time, they will see this pop-up tutorial guiding them on how to add data to take advantage of the pre-built logic. Simply drag and drop or double click the attributes and metrics to see the viz built like magic. Be sure to use the new dataset panel filtering options to quickly find the right data to add to your canvas. Gone are the days of scrolling through hundreds of objects to find what you're looking for. For example, filter to see all geo attributes, all derived metrics, objects using the current page, and more. With the new visualization shortcuts, it is easy to build some of the more complex bar chart variations with the click of a button. The viz container tells me I need at least two attributes and one metric so I can choose the relevant elements with the help of dataset panel filtering. And just like that, I have a matrix bar chart ready to go, helping me to quickly see that the strip mall is the least profitable but performs slightly better in May compared to other months. Lastly, I'll choose an accessible color palette so it is intuitive to all my users. Let's build another bar chart using our new synchronized axis shortcut. From the minimum requirements, I can see I need at least one attribute and two metrics. I'll add the relevant data. And once again, I've created a compelling visualization in a few seconds. Now my users can easily see the true relationship between cost and revenue. You can synchronize the axis on existing bar, line, or combo charts by right mouse clicking the axis. Not only is it now easier to quickly build the right visualization, but it is also easier to ensure it looks great on your canvas. We've improved many of our visualization defaults and introduced new formatting options to give you more control over the look and feel of your content. Access labels and data labels provide important context for your business users to quickly understand the data at a glance. In MicroStrategy 2021, labels are more responsive to avoid dropping or becoming unreadable. By default, the access scale will adjust to avoid data labels dropping. As the container size shrinks and grows, X-axis labels dynamically rotate and introduce word wrap to ensure readability. Similarly, pie and ring charts have several enhancements so they look great on the canvas. By default, there is a better use of container space to eliminate excess padding while still showing data labels. 
make the slices easy to compare by sorting descending or ascending, and choose to show text, value, or percentage data labels. By default, data labels will responsively adjust to display or disable leader lines based on the container size. You can also move the labels inside the slice. The author can control the labels as a design choice or keep their responsive defaults. Let's check out our enhanced waterfall chart. I'll add the minimum required attributes and metrics. The waterfall chart now supports show difference mode, the most common analysis type for waterfalls, in addition to the existing show sum mode. There are also new formatting options, including the ability to hide or show the connection line between bars, rename the total axis label, and change the color of each bar type. Turn on data labels if needed, and you have a waterfall chart ready to go. Discover two new curated map styles that makes it easy to create stunning map box visualizations, especially with freeform layout. The focus style only displays the available data to highlight key information without surrounding areas distracting the view. Here I'm using custom shapes with my data to create a condensed view of the United States. Here, I'll hide the toolbar from the visualization, which is useful in cases when users do not need to interact with the map. I'll also turn on Freeze, Pan, and Zoom, which is valuable especially in Freeform when you've layered other visualizations or objects on top of the map intended to display over the relevant geographic areas without the worldview changing. I'll add my finishing touch by selecting an accessible grade color threshold. The border style, as the name implies, displays only geographic borders and no terrain details. Easily set the background color to look cohesive with the rest of the canvas. Lastly, I'll add a tilt to give the map a 3D effect. Put your creativity to the test and see what you can create with these new styles. Grids have enhanced sorting capabilities with the option to specify nested, absolute, or level sorting on metrics. Right from the grid, ensure your data is sorted intuitively so your audience can more quickly understand the data. You can copy cell content and URLs directly from the grid and paste into an application of your choice, like Slack, Word, or Outlook. For the actual mechanics of authoring, we've added keyboard shortcuts and the ability to temporarily hide elements from the canvas to easily adjust and edit overlapping containers to design compelling dossiers with ease. Use the arrow keys to precisely position your containers. And use the delete key to quickly delete objects. When creating highly layered dossiers, it is difficult to easily access the edit menu or easily adjust the right object when the containers are overlapping. Now, you can temporarily hide elements to keep the canvas clean while editing each object. Hide on canvas can be used as a quick authoring aid, but be sure to reshow before moving on from that section because it has another use case. Build more responsive dossiers than ever before. When you choose hide on canvas and save it with the dossier, it allows you to customize the mobile view by only showing that container on mobile. You can also remove elements from mobile viewing by choosing Hide on Mobile. These responsive design options save you time that you previously spent maintaining multiple versions for mobile and desktop views. Now, just support one dossier that looks great on any device. Lastly, to make dossier design even more seamless, we've added two new filtering options that makes it easier to find answers fast and avoid manual filter updates with dossier level filters and dynamic default filters. Dossier level filters apply to all chapters where that filter condition is present, evidenced by this link icon in the filter panel. I'll select an element and go to another chapter where this filter is relevant. 
Add the filter and notice it is synced with the other chapter. Dynamic default filters display the first or last end number of elements, which is especially useful for rolling time periods like last three months. This saves the author from tedious maintenance to ensure the relevant time period is displayed and end users are confident they're looking at the right data. As always, MicroStrategy Community is a great resource not only for troubleshooting help and logging a support case, but also a treasure trove of best practice content created by product experts. Find articles on responsive design, staying organized, creating maps, crafting your data story, accessibility, and more. Next up, we have an expert panel discussion and an audience Q&A. We're really looking forward to hearing from you.